Beer here, not in the fantasy bar. We are on vacation at the beach, but had to jump in and get an MLB opening day six pack for you guys. Six of my favorite plays, including a couple teams. I am looking to stack a starting pitcher. I want to get the majority of my lineups, one of my favorite value plays. And of course, the beast of the night. Who are we talking about? Belly up to the fantasy bar and find out. Welcome in, guys. Opening day six pack from the beach. Beer here back in the pseudo fantasy bar here. Thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. Opening day is here. Couldn't miss the opportunity to jump in and do a video even on vacation. Thank you guys again for your support of the six pack. Before we get into the plays, you guys know the drill by now. Or if you're new here, maybe you don't. Take a second, click that thumbs up button. That is the tip jar here on this free video. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out scoresandodds.com slash beer for tons of great sports betting information. All right, huge slate of games here on opening day. Let's get you the plays that you are here for. Let's start at shortstop with O'Neal Cruz of Pittsburgh. Now, Cruz, very impressive in his rookie season. A lot of power in this bat. 17 home runs, 54 RBIs, and just a touch over 300 at-bats in that rookie season. Almost a 250 ISO against righties and very good against fastballs. Woba almost 450 green. Going to throw a ton of fastballs over 60% to lefties. Gives up our power mix we're always looking for. 46% fly ball rate, 42% hard contact rate. O'Neal Cruz in a good power spot here on opening day. All right, let's stand up in the outfield next with Juan Soto of San Diego. Now dealing with a little bit of an injury here day to day listed on these sites. That may scare some people away here in the ownership. So only going to help us out. Fully expecting him to be in that lineup. And we'll get those lineups nice and early to confirm that. But big time numbers against righties. As always, with Juan Soto, 243 ISO, 398 the Woba last season, and a fantastic fastball hitter. Woba over 500, ISO over 400. Marquez throws that about a third of the time to lefties. Juan Soto in a great spot here on opening day. All right, let's stay with the Padres. Put a little stack here. A lot of flexibility here, especially on FanDuel, first base, third base, or outfield with Matt Carpenter. Now, a new addition to this San Diego team, Matt Carpenter. Looks like he'll be the starting first baseman here in somewhat of a timeshare with Nelson Cruz. But at these prices, don't even mind if he only gets a couple at-bats here, especially if he can give us anything close to what he did last season towards the end of the year with the Yankees. Ton of power, a 404 Woba, an ISO way up there, 343 against righties in that stretch with New York, Marquez. Has had his issues with lefties, hence the stack here with Soto and Carpenter, 357 Woba, an ISO over 200, and a hard contact rate north of 40%. All right, next up, our starting pitcher. We're going with Shane McClanahan of Tampa Bay. Now, a lot of options here at starting pitcher. It's opening day. We got all the studs on the mound here. McClanahan certainly going to see some ownership at this DraftKings price. I don't mind it, though, especially in cash game. I think it's a must play there. Fando, a little bit higher price. I don't think you're going to see quite the ownership here but what a match he gets with these Detroit Tigers bottom 10 in Woba last season against left-handed pitchers and the third lowest ISO we know there's not a ton of punch in this Detroit lineup and McClanahan was money against right-handed hitters in the strikeout department almost a 31 percent strikeout rate much higher than a strikeout rate against lefties Detroit looks like they're going to have eight of the nine projected starters hitting from the right side of the plate so a great matchup here for McClanahan with a very strikeout happy and weak Detroit Tigers offense. All right, next up, we're going to knock out our catcher spot on DraftKings with Sean Murphy of Atlanta. So, Fandle, you always have the option, but I wouldn't mind him getting him in a stack. Looks like he's going to hit towards the middle of this lineup. We know this Atlanta team wanting to be one of the best offenses in all of baseball here. DraftKings, we need that catcher. And Murphy, the guy I'm going to on opening day, 235, ISO 365. The Woba form against left-handers last season. Corbin gives up a ton of hard contact, which is perfect for a power hitter. Hard contact rate at almost 50% last season against righty Sean Murphy. One of the best catcher options on the opening day slate. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play for opening day. Before we do that, we're going to run what we call a beast of the night contest. How do you play? It's free to play, easy to play. And for you long timers here in the Fantasy Bar, you already know how to play. All you got to do, get in the comment section right below the video and guess fantasy points on DraftKings for my highest scoring hitter. Going to give you five bats here. The guy that scores the most points, the closest guess in that YouTube comment section, going to win themselves a free week of Roto Grinders Premium, a chance to check everything out behind the scenes. All right, let's give you that fifth hitter. Let's give you my favorite play on the board. You know, Max, beast of the night. All right, 
Opening day beast time. We're going to stay with the Atlanta Braves. We're going to third baseman Austin Riley, today's beast of the night. So Riley looks like one of the better bets on the board here, especially at third base. Got a lot of options there. He's kind of down the board a little bit in pricing here, but easily my favorite play on the board here against lefties. Last season, this guy was money in the bank. ISO all the way up at 336, so a ton of power, as we know, in this bat. Woba at 435, and a hard contact rate all the way up at 53%. So anything north of 40%, pretty solid. North of 50%, we're talking elite. And this guy's approaching 55%, so just absolutely decimates left-handed pitching. Corbin gave up an ISO over 200. A Woba nearing 400, allowed 24. Home runs, two right-handed hitters here. This Atlanta stack going to be very popular here, but something I'm certainly going to be building around. Even if not, Austin Riley is a one-off play if you want to go that route in any format easily. My favorite play on the board, Austin Riley. Opening day, beast of the night. All right, guys, that'll do it for our opening day six-pack from the beach. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, hit me up in that comment section right below the video. Don't forget, fantasy points on DraftKings for my highest scoring hitter, of opening day first shot at some free roto grinders premium if you have not already like the video subscribe to the channel and check out scores and odds.com all right that will do it here guys for roto grinders.com i am beer saying salut best of luck here on opening day we'll be back in the bar next week with a combination of mlb and nba videos thank you so much for your support appreciate everything guys See you next week. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current videos playlist.